The control room was the center of operations for the reactor. From here, operators would monitor the reaction taking place inside the reactor core, making sure that it did not run away, overheat, or fizzle out. Sensors placed throughout the reactor fed information to the panels covering the walls, measuring temperature, radiation, pressure, and power level. On the front panel, you find a galvanometer. Galvanometer basically is a device that takes the weak electrical signal being transmitted up here to the control room. On the front of the display, you have a traveling beam that travels across the display the operator is watching. There's two of them. One is the rate of rise, one is, uh, is the continuous power level. He's basically controlling the shim rods on his control rods that are located directly above us to make sure the reactor is coming up under power at a constant rate, it's not spiking, and that it, it's basically following a gentle climb to its operating power level. In addition to monitoring the rate of reaction, operators also had to constantly monitor the water pressure in the cooling system. A wall of gauges in the control room provided pressure readouts for each of the 2004 process tubes. There was an operator at the control room at all times. Whether you were operating or shut down, he was observing what was happening. And then you had uh, one or two other operators that were going around recording uh, the temperature. A tube from the nozzle of each process tube was brought around to the control room and connected to one of those gauges. And uh, it would measure the inlet pressure uh, of the water. If it was in the proper uh, range, the pointer in the gauge would be about in the middle of that gauge. And if, if the pressure went up, uh, electrical connection take place, that uh, would cause the reactor to shut down. So you had here then 2004 process tubes, each one having their own gauge, monitoring the flow going through it, and uh, any one of them could shut the reactor down. In addition to power and water pressure, the temperature in each tube had to be carefully monitored. You didn't want it to go into boiling, so it was, it was under 90, around 90 degrees or so, in which the, each process tube would be allowed to go at uh, the, the outlet temperature. And if it got up to a particular limit, it, it could also shut the reactor down. In order to keep the reactor running smoothly, operators controlled the reaction, making it speed up or slow down by inserting or removing nine horizontal control rods. The position of the rods was indicated by the nine circular gauges in the center of the control panel. Seven were controlled hydraulically and two were manipulated electrically for minute adjustments. The control room operators were able to use these simple devices to ensure the smooth operation of the mammoth reactor. For more than 20 years, the B reactor was a production workhorse, operating without a major problem. The reactor is a real tribute to the many dedicated people who designed and built the reactor, as well as employees who operated it safely and efficiently. <laughs>